need five more family. My sister friend, and I always say, you don't have to be blood to be family. I want to thank this amazing lady to having this platform for us that called Raws and Friends. And I like to thank all of the Raw and Friends trainers that just pour into each and every one of us every day. I like to say personally to you, Ms. Queen Raw Ward, thank you for always putting us first. Thank you for continuing and supporting us. And thank you for continuing and inspiring us. Because without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to get on today and co-host or host or whatever I'm doing. So family, let's put in the chat box. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I want to personally thank Annie Kristen from Silver Consultant out in New Hampshire for just making some things happen for us. And thank you, Annie, from the bottom of my heart. You know what? You are a trooper and you always think about helping and putting everyone first. So I get to honors to bring up this amazing gentleman. As I stated, I had an opportunity to meet him personally about a month ago when he came on and was a presenter for us with, to make a tourist board. And what I learned about him, you guys know I always do the motivational video every Saturday and he happened to be on. He was just as fired up as we were. He had nothing but great things to say about the call and about the individuals and also about myself. But I like to tell this gentleman, his name is Matthew Blake. Matthew, I want to share with you, your presence on that call pushed so many people in the last month, we probably had over 40 to 50 new Jamaica specialists. Mm -hmm. So we had spent the last month just pushing and working with individuals. And everyone, I need you guys to drop in the chat box some sevens because you guys did it. You were coachable. You stayed committed. You communicated. I know... Renee, we're going to get your question answered because we have the man that can help us get you past chapter eight so you can get your certificate. Matthew Blake, I'd like to thank you again for pouring into each and every one of us, and I'd like to give the floor to you. Well, thank, thank you so much, Patrice. Thank you, Annie. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for having me again. And, <clears throat> and I must say that I enjoy being on with this group. I love the energy. I love the positivity. So really, really appreciate you having me again. And the idea that we're from so many different states, so many different markets, and that so many persons have done the Jamaica Chavez Specialist course. I am in seventh heaven as we speak. That is just fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just run into a presentation give us some updates and I would love if you would give me your feedback, your questions, and we can continue the dialogue. I'm gonna share this presentation now. Let's see, click on this thing and then click on this thing and say share, share sound as well and say share. And I'm hoping everybody's seeing the screen with Jamaica Heartbeat of the World and Put it in slideshow. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start with a quick video um, and then. Feel the bugs, feel the vibe, feel it in your heart.
joining the party. You're welcome. Yeah, laugh, You're smile. welcome. Some is the greetings, welcome to one and all To the land of scat, reggae and dance hall Day we go beach, river and waterfall And we have a lot of party when the night falls Hold a vibe, eat something with a drink in your hand Rum beer, jerk chicken, roast fish, yellow yam Them say we beat unique, so every boy, every girl Come to Jamaica, the heartbeat of the world So, Jamaica, I'm, I must say, just first to begin with that, the video was shot um, before we have all of this pandemic craziness, but we, we hold a view that we'll be out of it soon. And the idea of coming back together and just being in a space where we can enjoy ourselves is the idea we want to resonate on the mind. But certainly, Jamaica has several of the world world recognized protocols and some that are unique to Jamaica as you travel into the destination. Um, one of the questions that might be asked is where is Jamaica? I like to point out to folks that Jamaica is not just the heartbeat of the Caribbean. It's not just on the hearts of many individuals who travel, but it's also heartbeat of the world. So Jamaica is right. If you use the Florida panhandle as your marker, then you know we're just down south of that crossover Cuba and you're into Jamaica. That gives you just an idea of where is Jamaica. I wanted to just run over to our website to share with some information, share some information about the current situation. Um, but just to say that the website www.visitjamaica.com is a fabulous resource that can be used to share information and or to get information um, about what's happening currently on the destination. So as you come onto the Visit Jamaica site, www.visitjamaica.com, you get into the first thing you see is this drop down dialog box that comes down. The two options here, this COVID-19 testing availability, I'll tell you a little bit more about, but I'm gonna go straight to learn more about the destination. Now, the website does have a lot more information than just the current travel um, re requirements. And so, I'm going to show you, let's jump into this in terms of travel requirements. Last time we were on um, team, it, we had four or five countries that were considered that you needed um, travel out, you needed a COVID-19 test in order to enter Jamaica if you're traveling from those countries. As it is now, everyone, everyone coming into Jamaica needs to have a COVID-19 test, negative COVID-19 test. Um, result to come into Jamaica, everyone, even Jamaicans coming back home. If once you're 12 years and older, you need that COVID-19 test. It can be a PCR test or an antigen test. Um, you can do the rapid test as long as it's an antigen test. Another um, update that has happened that before, you, need, you could travel as long as you have your COVID-19 test done 10 days or less before you travel, you could get into the country on that negative COVID test result. That has changed also. When the country is no longer accepting a 10-day COVID-19 test result, but not accepting a three-day COVID-19 test result. So as of March 4th, if you're traveling to Jamaica, then you need to have a COVID-19 test result done three days or less before your date of travel. So of course we understand that there's a transition period. There may be people who have al were already in the process of traveling would have gotten their test. And so persons who are traveling before March 10th, which would mean today, um, definitely you can travel on that old 10 day COVID-19 test result. But if you're traveling after March 10th, after so March 11th and onwards, you need to have a COVID-19 test result three days or less from your date of travel. What we have done on the website is to put two boxes here. So if you are traveling, if your date is traveling before March 10th 
and you already had your COVID-19 test, you can check out which day you need to get tested. You click in, in this box here, you put in the date you intend to travel. And once you have done that, then the date when your earliest date that you should do your test will come in this box. Once, if you're traveling after March 10th, then you do the same thing, but you do it in this box instead. You put the date you intend to travel. And of course, the date you need, the earliest date you need to do your test will appear here. So it removes for you the challenge of calculating. Persons are still wondering, um, where do I get a test done? Most persons are heading into their CVS, their Walgreens, their American uh, Family Care, or your private, um, 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 private medical care um, persons, but guess what? If you're not sure, you can use this facility and type in your a lab or your, your zip and get the lab nearest to you. We have uploaded all the protocols on the site, just in case you wanna read them, you want that improving read, sure. But it just know that it's over hundred pages, but it does cover the protocol for every aspect of persons of, of operations on island. This is the next um, drop-down box that when you open the site. And I wanted to share with you that this drop-down might not be so relevant now or as useful. We had this done right after the CDC announced the need for travelers to have a, a negative COVID-19 test to return to the US. And this is really a list of labs in Jamaica. So if you click on it, you will get this drop down of labs in Jamaica. But guess what? Right after the CDC announced the, the requirement, all the, the, the hotels in Jamaica immediately got into motion and what they will do is that they will arrange with you for the testing of your clients and yourselves as you travel. So either they're gonna be doing the testing on site or they're going to be arranging the logistics for you to get to a lab nearby, or they're gonna have mobile units to come in to have the testing done. So really this, this drop down has sort of done its days um, for the need for it. So, Really, you don't need that, that one anymore. So, so do you have that on the screen? I wanted to share with us also that if you're heading into Jamaica, you need a travel authorization. You uh, just up to a day ago, you would need to do this travel authorization five days or less before you travel to the country. We have, that has now been increased to seven days or less. So you do have some more time to do your travel authorization. So I wanted to share those information, especially in the current updates that are on the website. Now I'll run back to the presentation um, now that I've given you those current updates. And I am going to, I just told you all. That. Now, this is a look on, on Jamaica's accommodation landscape. You have so many choices of, of, of accommodation in Jamaica. You can have your high-end all-inclusives, your mid-tiers, your guest houses, your bread and breakfast, your apartments. And you have that option, regardless of how discriminating you have clients, there is something, some accommodation type in Jamaica that they would love. I mean, just look at that. You have over 25,000 hotel rooms. You have well over 3,000 villa rooms. Um, guest houses over 3,000. So you do have um, a number of choices as you get into the island as, as to where to stay. You can decide to stay in all-inclusive hotels. There are nine, over 19,000 all-inclusive rooms. Or, there, or you could do non-all-inclusive, over 5,000 rooms. So as it relates to getting somewhere to stay, not a problem. So let's look to Jamaica for the place with the friendliest people. And we have thrown that challenge out ever since, telling people, if you can tell us of a destination you have traveled to with friendlier people, we feel that there is no other destination. We have not had anybody come back yet to say, Jamaica, you are not the leading destination for that. Come to Jamaica for flavor, our jerk chicken, jerk pork, uh, our ginger beer, our spirits. The flavor of Jamaica is really, really an ex exciting. And if you're not careful, it can be intoxicating um, adventure. So come enjoy Jamaica for that. For music, think about Bob Marley, think about Shaggy, think about 
um, just a number of artists that have come out of Jamaica giving the world music. Nature, we will talk more about that in terms of the flora endemic um, plants, uh, long expanse of beaches. And so as we go to the next one, you look at beaches for, uh, for diving, beaches for swimming, beaches for just walking. Jamaica has beaches all over. Of course, we're an island, so we're surrounded by fabulous beaches. Black sand on the south, white sand on the north. Why the color change? I don't know. The joy of the Jamaican people that you will experience from the moment you get into Jamaica. And of course, if romance is in the air, you definitely want to exploit that in Jamaica. Getting to Jamaica is easy. You have, and from any of the international airports, you'll have a number of direct flights, or you will have connect, fabulous connecting flights from all the major airlines. So that is not, getting Jamaica is not a challenge. And for persons out of New York, we just have Air Jamaica coming, uh, okay, Air Jamaica, I'm dating myself, Caribbean Airlines coming back on board with direct flights out of JFK. So that is something to look out for as well. So as you get into Jamaica, you're planning your trip. So guess what? You decide we're going to Jamaica, like Patrice says, she's off to Jamaica shortly. You need your COVID-19 test result. Remember, three days or less um, from your date of travel. You need your travel authorization, which you can apply for, which you apply for right on visitjamaica.com. You get it back in a matter of minutes, but you have up to seven days before your date of travel to apply. You have your ticket. You take all, you take your COVID-19 uh, test results, your travel authorization with you, you check into your flight and you're off to Jamaica. And you get into Montego Bay, you're talking about hotels within 10 and 30 minutes away from the airport, championship golf courses, tons of shopping attractions, restaurants, all within a five mile radius. And of course, as cruise makes its way back around, it's a major cruise ship destination. So think about Montego Bay for romance, for family holidays, golf, a variety of accommodations, and certainly um, dining, natural beauty. Now, some of the reasons why Montego Bay is considered a complete resort, not just from us in Jamaica or the Caribbean, but from the world. Um, just in our recent 2020 World Travel Awards, Montego Bay has the world's leading villa resort. Caribbean leading hotel. I mean, and you see the list here, Caribbean leading airport lounge, which is Club Mobay, Caribbean leading cruise ship port, Caribbean leading entertainment venue. It just gives you a sense that when you get into Montego Bay, you are in the complete, the Caribbean's complete resort. If you have never been to Jamaica, my recommendation is start with Montego Bay. Branch out from Montego Bay to another destination and then come back. So. Think about staying in Montego Bay. Think about river rafting. Think about adventure tours. Think about um, plantation tours, craft, and of course, adventure such as zip lining. One of the fabulous things about this plantation house is that there is a night tour. So give me two seconds. Let me tell you something interesting. Something. So this house is considered the, uh, the an historical um, site. But one of the things about it is that it's an old plantation house. And the mistress of the house, Annie, is said to still haunt the house that is there. So they have a fabulous night tour. Matthew, Matthew, yes. we, can't, we can't see your slides. We can only see your face. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's fix that. No worries. Um, let's click on that and say end show. And then say go back to here and say share. And I'm going to share this one and say share. Can you see the slides now? Yes, we can see the slides now. Now we see your okay. part. <clears throat> All right, so I told you guys about um, getting into Jamaica. I told you about- get the, last, the last slide we saw go up. No, we didn't see that one. Oh boy. Yeah, we stopped seeing slides around. Nope. No, nope, we didn't see that one. No, no, no. The last one we saw was the heart. No, the, the um, where you, where you were um, going in to tell us the dates, that was the last thing we saw. Oh, these? 
Not that one, like when you showed us the drop down stuff. That was oh, this that one. one. Yeah. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay, I'd actually gone to the actual website for that one. So. Yeah, that's why it cut off. Okay, no worries. Okay. All right. So this one is really, let me just take two seconds and back up to the way I was. So this one is really looking at the whole picture of the accommodations in Jamaica, the wide variety, giving the idea of how accommodations are spread out across the island. So there's somewhere and something for everybody. <clears throat> I was telling you about the number of hotel rooms, over 25,000 hotel rooms. So there are no shortage of hotel rooms for you to stay in. And if you don't like hotels, you wanna get into a guest house, over 3,000 rooms, almost 4,000, or over 3,000 resort villas, apartments, and these hotel rooms can be all inclusives or non all inclusives. I was saying to you that Jamaica, in discovering Jamaica, you'll discover its people, the flavor in terms of its food, its beverages, its music, world renowned music. Um, Jamaica is known for nature. Of course, we are a tropical island. So, yes, definitely a lot of endemic plants and birds and hiking trails. And of course, wonderful beaches, including our seven mile beach in Negril or our black sand beaches on the south coast. Um, Jamaica is a place where joy abounds as you just, as you meet people and you talk with people, there's a sense of, of relax and comfort. Um, many of us will know words like Irie or no problem, man. You know, it's, it was a Jamaican terms to, to just share with persons that, hey, just relax. You know, we, you are on vacation, leave the GPS mentality until you get back home. And certainly romance, if romance is in the air, nurture it in Jamaica, no better place. I was saying to you that all the major airlines head into Jamaica, not to worry. I was talking about um, Caribbean Airlines back in New York. So that is an option for the folks in New York, in Connecticut um, and closer states too. So not to worry about getting into, into Jamaica from where, whichever gateway you are. Um, I tell you that in Montego Bay, and I'm going to say here, if you have never been to Jamaica or you have clients who have never been to Jamaica, if they're not, unless they're asking for specific places, you might want to put them into Montego Bay. Why? It's close to the airport. One, two, Montego Bay has a little bit of everything. Three, Montego Bay has fabulous beaches. Four, shopping. And of course, persons who come into Montego Bay can stay there and then uh, venture off to other destinations and come back. And at the end of their stay, they're right next to the airport. So they can go and um, get a feel for the island and come back. So Montego Bay does offer you that advantage. I was saying heading to Mobe when you're thinking romance, family holidays, sports, um, if you want a variety of accommodation, regardless of how discriminating, you can find really nice accommodation in Montego Bay from luxury all the way down to budget. Um, and as sharing with you a list as to why it is, Montego Bay is considered the Caribbean's complete resort. And it, because it has so many award-winning features, airport, airport lounge, convention centers, luxury resorts, leading villas, all of that you, you find in Montego Bay. What to do while you're there? Lots of adventure. Um, rafting, adventure, craft, souvenir items, and of course, um, the popular zip line and other features like that. I was telling you about the night tour. I'd love somebody to go on this night tour and tell me what they thought. Um, it, it, it does palpitate the heart as you go through the, the scenes of the house. They tell you about Annie and how she murdered some seven lovers in this house and that, hey, this is still her house. And as you go in, the night tour is meant to bring back some of those scenes, whether real or imaginative. I, when you go, you tell me what you thought of it. So as you get into Montego Bay, you may decide that, you know what? I, I like Montego Bay, but he, I am here on the seven day trip. I'm gonna see somewhere else. You get over to Negril, it's just over an hour. You get into Negril. And you find large properties, all inclusives, fabulous I end. You have your Azuls, you have your Royal Tons, um, you have your Cliffs Hotel, and then you have your Reuse, you have your intimate inns. So Negril gives you a really good mix of, of, of everything. Seven miles of White Sand Beach, um, Rick's Cafe for 
um, those who love to watch sunsets, great water sports. Let me say, if you're going to Rick's Cafe, try to get there a little bit before six o'clock when the sunset watching begins, because the place will be empty up until about 5.30, 5.20. And then all of a sudden, there's just a drove of people coming in. So head to Rick's Cafe for cliff diving, for sunset watching, fabulous food, wonderful drinks, and of course, a very good party atmosphere. Um, let me flick this back up to, yeah. All right. Um, so sunsets in Negril, family friendly. Oh, another thing with Negril, it's famous for girls getaway, singles trips. Negril is a kind of place where you head out in your baths, walk the beach, walk off the beach into any restaurant, um, like Island Lux Beach Park, wonderful soups, and you just enjoy the community. You could do horseback riding, water parks, swim with dolphins, beach parks, all in Negril. Or if you're in Montego Bay and you decide, I want to go um, east, then tell you what, just over an hour, you're in Ocherius. Bear in mind, if you head to Ocherius, make sure you're ready to move. That's the day you're arrested because Ocherius has over 30 attractions within a 10 mile radius. You're talking about um, riding a camel, riding a Segway, climbing a waterfall, climbing a skyscraper, um, a skyscraper, um, doing a bobsled, doing zip lining, swimming with dolphins, um, helicopter tours, diving. I mean, Montego Bay is, I mean, Ocherius is attractions, attractions, attractions. So once that's the day you want to decide that, hey, I'm leaving Montego Bay at six, and I'm not coming back until 10 because there is a lot to do in Ocherius. And of course, you could stay in Ocherius as well. So head into Ocherius for couples um, setups. Really lovely at Duns River Falls or Laughing Waters, a place to reconnect your family holidays. Of course, you could head up to Mystic Mountain, as is depicted in this slide here, to do um, rock climbing, zip lining, bobsledding, um, electronic um, ATVs, all of that happens and much more uh, in, within Ocherius. And of course, you do have a lot of different types of properties. You have the newly refurbished Rio um, Resort, the whole family with Kids Splash Park. You have the Couples Resort for just couples. You have um, you have the high, you have the Bahia Principe just near where you have the Grand and you have the, the, the regular Bahia. So tons of um, accommodation choices in Ocherius as well. Also, if you're heading into Ocherius, one, of the, one, one other good thing is that you could head to Ocherius from Montego Bay Airport, or you could head from Kingston Airport. The distance is about the same. So you, that is something to think about as well. So head to Ocherius for bobsled, zip lining, river rafting, craft, sky explorer, Duns River Fall, and much, much more. For persons who have traveled to Jamaica before um, and feel they want to really explore another side, head into Port Antonio, about two hours a little, or a little more from Montego Bay, or from Kingston, it's a little under two hours. But this is the Hollywood of the Caribbean. This is where your films are produced. Um, this is where you will walk into a shop or in the street and meet a, 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 a Oprah Winfrey or a Tom Cruise. Or this is where you're getting into playwrights. You're gonna you're gonna find here. These resorts are there are no all inclusives here, because the persons who come in here generally will fly in their private jets into Boscobel Aerodrome, or they will yacht into the Errol Flynn Marina, or they are picked up by BMWs from Kingston. This is a kind of clientele that head into Port Antonio. Um, they, 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 the resorts are secluded and they, are, they cater to the every need of the client. So um, you have places like Trident Castle, that person stay, or you have the Trident Villas, 13 villas, well-appointed private beach. But if you're gonna have any event, you need to buy out all 13 villas. That's a kind of a, a, an idea for Port Antonio. And let me say, those villas aren't cheap, but they're always sold out, just to, just, to, just to share. But if you want to get into the Blue Mountains, Port Antonio is a good gateway, nature tours, downhill bicycle tours, uh, waterfalls in the mountains, and of course, really good Jamaican food from the interior. So that is your Port Antonio stop. 
So you're looking into hiking, you're looking into flora, fauna, the home of movies, James Bond movies. Um, Port Antonio is the home for, where, for them. And of course, rafting on the Rio Grande. Fun fact about the Rio Grande, if you're going to raft on the Rio Grande, go with somebody who you are really interested in, or just make sure that you know that at some point you're gonna come to the kissing rock and the raftsman is going to expect you to kiss the person beside you. Um, so you guys need to work that out as you go down the raft or let him know before. Port Antonio is a home for jerk. So when we talk about jerk chicken, jerk pork, definitely Port Antonio is where all of that started. With the Maroons, it's fantastic for surfing. And for persons who are into nude, um, who will consider themselves nudists, Port Antonio is your area. You do have um, resorts that cater to persons, especially in this area for nudists. Yes, you have nude beaches and so on, on in the Montego Bay end and the Negril end. But Port Antonio does give you that setup as well. And of course, it's the gateway to the Blue Mountain. So heading to Port Antonio for rafting, it's famous for rafting for intimate beaches and certainly as a wellness resort. Kingston, Kingston right now is not within the resilient corridor. We hope to have it back soon. What is meant by the resilient corridor? The resilient corridor runs all the way from the, all the north coast of Jamaica and half of the south coast. So if you're traveling into Jamaica, if you're not going into the resilient corridor, then you must quarantine for 14 days. So Kingston is not yet, not right now in the resilient corridor. So if your clients are going in or you are going in and you're heading into Kingston, know that you'll be asked to quarantine for 14 days and then you can move about and you'll be geofenced, meaning you'll have an app on your phone or you'll or your watch or there'll be some way to track to where you're going so that they can do contact tracing and of course, ensure everybody is safe. But outside of that, Kingston is the capital city, political and commerce center. When Kingston is back, look out for vibrant nightlife and world-class restaurants, really nice sporting events, and of course, good connectivity to every other part of the island. So think about Kingston for, for reggae music, for international cuisine, historical sites, galleries, universities, museum, libraries, Kingston. That is really the, Kingston is really the, the cultural capital of the Caribbean, because this is where, for example, the University of the, of the West Indies or the Caribbean's university is located. So these are some of the things, the International Seabed Authority is in Kingston. Um, Caribbean Maritime Institute is in Kingston. So a number, of, a number of the Caribbean institutions are in Kingston. Head into Kingston for coffee plantations, head into the hill for um, gastronomy tours or for music, for museum. And of course, this picture is Port Royal, once the wickedest city on earth. Now it is home to our newest cruise ship here and it's also a seafood haven. So those are things to think about as you head into Kingston. Um, South Coast is our, the last resort here we look at. And South Coast is a quieter, is a community um, area. So a lot of community tourism, farm to table, friendly alligators, intimate inns, you find them tucked away in pockets. And of course, Appleton Estate rum tour. Remember, you're gonna taste all the rum they tell you about when you get there. So be ready for a spirited adventure. So going to the South Coast for Wires Falls, a 70 year waterfall, Pelican Bar, this bar is out in the sea, only accessible by boat. And of course, the natural, the Black River Safari looking at endemic birds and animals along Jamaica's longest navigable river. Okay, so regardless of where in Jamaica you are, a wedding is a cinch in Jamaica, easy, a wedding is so easy to be done, you could be married in as little as 24 hours. No blood test required, your proof of citizenship, your divorce certificate, um, proof of divorce or certificate, death certificate, <laughs> And with those basic documents, you can have your fabulous wedding in Jamaica or vow renewals. And you have, of course, wonderful on-island coordinators to assist. So Jamaica gives you family fun. Jamaica gives you wonderful cruise ship peers. Um, so as soon as things are turned around, look to head into any of our cruise ports and just check out um, 
the fun you'll have on island for those six or eight hours. All the major cruise lines we expect will continue to service Jamaica, so not to worry. Um, we do have a number of festivals and events that happen throughout the year. So whatever time of year you're traveling, there's a festival, there's an event that you can look forward to. Of course, this year is a little different. Let's hope that by about August, things will come back and we'll see things like the independence celebrations and the, 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 the athletic championships and so on. But they're, they're still continue to be built, can still be done uh, virtually or physically, depending on what's happening with the virus. We're expecting some new developments. Um, some have started already, some are on their way, but new properties are coming. Um, a fabulous um, tapestry on, in Kingston. This hotel is going to be on the Kingston Harbor, which is the world's seventh largest natural harbor. You have um, extended stay properties. You have updates to Sanders. We spoke about the Rio Resort in Ocherous recently, fabulously redone. And of course, you do have Princess Resorts coming as well as Ocean H10 to complete their adult only um, property. The family property is already open and the adult one to be finished by the end of this year. So quickly, why come to Jamaica? Why sell Jamaica? It's world recognized health and safety regulations, very close to the US wherever in the US you are. Excellent airlift, no worries about getting to Jamaica. Friendly people, like we said, we have not lost that bet yet. Um, diversity of culture, attractions, accommodation, and resort areas. So there's something for everyone, regardless of all discriminating. Great wedding destination, improved infrastructure. Of course, English language, so everybody understands you and can tell you what's happening. Climate is fabulous, always above 75 all year round. Pure fresh drinking water, and of course, good value for money. As Jamaica travel specialist, we are, if you are not yet uh, aware of some of the benefits, please know that we, some of the benefits are agent listing. So you list on our uh, visitjamaica.com website. If a person is looking for a travel agent, they're putting the zip code you're in, your name come up. You do have cash rewards, monthly um, prizes. We do have um, the annual White Affair or One Love Affair, where we celebrate our top 50 bookers. We do offer you meet and greet at our Jamaica airports to not just you, and but you and up to four persons traveling with you. If you have wedding groups going, we'll meet the bride and groom and the parents. We will ensure that you do site inspections. If you're going on your own trip to Jamaica, you let us know, we'll arrange the site inspections, we'll come pick you up take it to the site inspections and, and take you back to your hotel. We also, of course, have a community, a connectivity that we share with you leads from our different promotions. So all of that happens because you're a Jamaica travel specialist. And we are having farm trips coming up in April and May. So please, if you're, if you're not a Jamaica travel specialist yet, at least register. Get your email in there so you can get the invites to our upcoming farm trips. And I am going to end right there and say thanks to everybody. I see. Hello. All right. So family, I don't know about you, but let's just put it in the chat box. If you got tons of value from this amazing presentation, it was 93 on the call tonight. Let's put in the chat box some V's. Let's see some V's in the chat box. Let's let Matthew know we totally appreciate him. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go through the chat box and read some of the questions. And um, I can do that. Or if you raise your hand, I can unmute you and let you ask your questions direct. Well, I can tell you, Matthew, there are tons and tons of these. So I'm going to go through the chat box first and see if there's any questions here. I see tons of these. I see the seven sevens. I said, thank you. Awesome. Dolphins are fabulous. I'm going to 
Uh, be there. Everybody's going. Everybody's going to Jamaica. Hey, Taj. Please to Dolphins me. Of everybody. We are going to Jamaica. Let's see here. So if you have any questions, raise your hand. I see Emily White. Let me just unmute you. Let's see here. Emily. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey, Emily. Emily. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, Matthew, I have a question. I have a wedding with 30 people coming in November. I'm one of the 30. <laughs> How do I register it on, on Jamaica Tourism Board? Do I do it as one big group or separately? One big group. Um, don't worry about that. Um, we in the back end will separate. Don't stress yourself about that. Register it as one big group under your lead um, um, traveler. Okay. And of course, Emily, like I tell everybody, don't sweat it. If you don't remember, if you're not sure, just drop me an email. We'll All fix right. it. All right, good. Thank you. Was the question about the vac vac vaccine answered? Do you, if you have the... Um, the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, do you still have to be tested? Okay, thank you. Oh, that's answered, okay. I was asking you, Matthew. <laughs> oh, no, if, I'm sorry, I thought it was answered. No, if you have the vaccine as of right now, even if you're vaccinated, you're still required to do the COVID-19 test and to continue to protect yourself. Why? Um, as it is now, having the vaccine does not prevent you from contracting the virus. It helps you to better cope with dealing with the virus. So um, I, I, the, the, I, what I understand is that as more persons are vaccinated and herd immunity, then it won't be. But as of right now, there are still persons, you may still contract the virus. And so and with that, they're asking you, even if you're vaccinated, to protect yourself and to, and to well, protect yourself and, and, and subsequently protect others by at least indicating that you're still negative and protect yourself, yeah. Great question, ladies. Let's see here. We have Renee out of our New Jersey market and I am going to unmute you. Let's see. Renee, let's just lower your hand. Okay, you guys. Renee, can you unmute for some, okay. Can you hear me, Renee? Hello. Hello, Renee. Hi. Hi, Matthew. Hey, Renee. I'm having a problem completing my test. I'm at chapter eight, and there's a modular that will not let me continue to complete it. I'm almost done. No worries. This is what we'll do, Renee. Um, I just dropped my email in the chat. Um, I will, I will talk with you. We'll sit together and let me see what is holding you up because that's, that's a new one, but hey, no worries. We're dealing with technology and we know how it is. It works fine at 9.01 and at 9.02, it gives trouble. Not to worry, we'll fix it. Thank you much. Matthew, could you do me a favor? Can you replace your email address back in the thread it kind of went up because other people were putting their email address inside it no worries m blake at, m blake at visit jamaica Alrighty. Dot com. so we have tammy marie out of the los angeles market i am un unmuting you tammy if you can unmute i appreciate it there we go. Hi, we I'm go. Tammy Marie. I'm excited. I get to go on the 21st. And for my birthday, I purchased, uh, well, I'll be staying two extra days. So I'm definitely interested in um, possibly uh, seeing some of the things that travel agents can see. How will I go about reaching out to you for that? Not a problem, Tammy. Um, what you'll do is just drop me an email and I will get your insights here to set that up for you. Um, so are you are you going to, are you already booked for Club Mabe? Um, actually, I'm going to be at Ochi. 
Yep, no problem. Whichever airport you come through, whether Kingston or Orchard or Montego. Oh, Canada. yeah. So drop me an email, um, Tammy. Which, which, which area are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. I'm with oh, Emily. So you, okay, so that's, that's Diane. So no worries. Diane and I will work out to ensure that you're registered to have the meet and greet or the site inspection, whichever, which, whatever you send me in your email, we work on it. Great, thank you so much. Not a problem. Well, Matthew, this is Patrice. I have a question for you because sure. a few of us are gonna be in Ochi the 25th through the 28th, but it's a sandal resort. And I know they don't allow us to come off the resort. Is there, well, I can't ask if there's activity, activities that we can do because we can't leave the resort for the activities. So, but um, can I reach out to you? Just ask you some questions and reference to some things that's over in Ochi. Sure, 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 sure. Um, some, I, I sounds like you're going for the, the training at Sandals. Yes, and they don't let you leave off the premises. For well, you can, what, 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 what solution? Um, it's probably late in the day now, but we do have folks who will go on like probably two days before or day after. And that's when they will do, because you, as travel agents, I tell you, next time I want to be a travel agent, if you call up the hotels and you say, hey, I'm a travel agent, I'm Jamaica travel specialist, you get a fabulous rate. So you can decide to say, all right, I'm going to stay a day or two after. And depending on if you are, for example, for example, with AM results, if you're a master agent, you get another rate. So there are some ways you can do it by either staying a, a day or two after or going a day or two before and have those site inspections done, see some other things and then um, do the training. So that's some ideas that, that you can probably think about as well. So, but, question, so question for you, if you do that after, how does that impact your um, COVID tests? Well, the thing is you would then be responsible because Sanders is going to give you that COVID test free. Right. Right. So if you if they, that would mean you would have to do um, that COVID test with, with, with whichever property you're staying at. And many other properties are giving it to you complimentary or at, I mean, they're doing, giving you the antigen test, which is, I think is about $40. And most properties are giving you complimentary. And worst, in the worst scenario, um, the testing facilities are at both airports. So that's just option. So if you say to me, okay, I gave up my free test at Sanders. Well, let's say if you're heading into any of the other properties, it's going to be either complimentary or probably at 50% or some fee like that. All right, great. We we'll see here, we have Annie. Annie, I'm gonna lower your hand and can you unmute your line, please? Any questions from you? That's Annie Cushing. Yes, it is. Hi, Matthew. I, I, I refuse to answer any questions from Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any questions for you, but I just want to say with gratitude and appreciation, I am so thankful for you and I yeah. absolutely appreciate you and thank you for doing what you do. No worries, my neighbor. I am so appreciative to you for having me on this call for experiencing Patrice's energy and the love of this group that I my thanks really are to you really oh you should see Patrice and Tony Queen Rod Ward together the two of them are oh my goodness you would have you would have a you would have no stomach left because you would be laughing off the roof because the two of them together there's no explanation. It, it's a party within a party. Are you serious? Let me find out. Wait, I am heading into Jamaica in April for farm trips. Um, I need to make sure I find a way to connect when they're on island. Most definitely, most definitely. When are you going to be doing some farm trips? This is Patrice. <laughs> That's the question, you know me. Yeah, we're doing farm trips. So we have national farms. This is one you will get invites for. Um, you start getting invites, that's it, that's April. So anywhere from about the mid-March onwards, okay. yes, to those mails coming out. So if you're not a Jamaica travel specialist yet, at least register, at least have your emails in there. Um, we will also do what we call BDM farms. 
And these are farms, um, for example, for, for the persons in California, you would reach out to Diane. If you reach out to me, I'm going to still um, pull Diane in. And if for you, you would reach out to me if you agents um, in, in New Hampshire, all of New England, and we work on having um, BDM farms heading into Jamaica. So like I tell everyone, don't sweat it. Don't try to figure it. Don't worry. Just reach out to me and we'll sort it out on the back end and make sure you have the right connections going. Well, Tony and I want to go on a farm. Well, there you go. Drop me a line and let's- I want to go too. <laughs> let's start talking. Because what we could probably do is we, we have a farm from this group. And then we can decide if it's going to be a romance farm. Is it going to be a family farm? Is it going to be an adventure farm? What, what is it that you want to, to experience in Jamaica? We find those properties. We find those, those facilities, those accommodations. I'm not accommodating. Those attractions, those entertainment entities that focus on the things you want to see. And then we head off to Jamaica to make sure that you see them. You learn all about them. You know who the contacts are and that you are most prepared to, to sell it. You are more prepared to, to, to enjoy it while you're there. So yeah, it's just, just let's talk. I must definitely get that email out to you. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Do we have any other questions? I know that it's a little late. Um, raise your hand, we're more than happy to, um, if not family, let's just clap it up and tell thank you to Matt you for coming on and just pouring in all those amazing nuggets. We hit 93, totally excited. So family, let's just let him know. Thank you. We totally appreciate it. And those that have not taken a test, Matthew, we most definitely will make sure that we'll be working with them to get them to become Zermaker specialists so you can be able to take advantage of all the travel agent perks. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And so we don't for any help. Thank you. Thank you. So thank family, you. thank you so much for coming out tonight and hanging out with the Raw and Friends. Totally appreciate you. Be ready for next week. We have another BDM coming on. We're going to have Randy from Norwegian. So if you're ready to start booking some of those cruises, when the cruise lines open, we'll definitely need you guys to get on. You're going to have some amazing information for us. So good night, family. Thank you again. Thank you, Matt, for everything. We totally appreciate you. Have a blessed evening, family. Good night, everyone. Peace. Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Recordarles también la importancia es de que ustedes nos apoyen. Hey everyone, if you are joining me for Quick Start at seven, stay on the line. Quick Start is an amazing time for you to get back in tune with your travel business. So feel free to hang around, get you something to drink, something to eat, and spend some time with Emily, everyone. Quick Start starts in about 30 seconds. What happened? Oh, wow. I want to do it on my phone.